What's going on guys? It's Chris, Tech Savvy Agent, and welcome to The Q. What is The Q? So what we're going to do is every week, I'm going all over the country, I'm going to all these cool conferences, and I'm really gaining a lot of information that I want to share with you guys. But it does get a little bit challenging to just pump out the content daily. So what I've decided to do is kind of like in Netflix, you know, you're putting things into the queue to watch at a later date. We're going to try that here with a weekly web episode of the queue where I'll catch you guys up on everything, go through everything I learned, share some of the best practices. And then, of course, if you guys have ideas to submit to the queue, you guys can do that on Facebook or Twitter, all the places that I'm hanging out. So without further ado... Our first episode of the queue. Here we go. So in the queue this week, so what are we going to cover? Number one, Inman Connect. I was in New York City. I got to spend, you know, four or five days there and I had a lot of great takeaways. So I wanted to share some of that with you guys. Number two there, you're seeing Real Estate Porn by Curbed.com. And it was one of the breakout sessions at Inman, and I really took a lot away from it, so I thought I'd share some of the ideas that were uh, in that class with you guys. Number three there, brand matters more than ever. I got a chance to meet a group called the Corcoran Group, uh, specifically their marketing director, Matthew, and I'm back sold on the fact that the brand matters. A lot of times the big companies, the big brands, the agents often need to create their own kind of hyper-local brand, and Corcoran's done that beautifully. Stick.com, this is a social media recommendation and referral service catered towards professionals, so real estate, mortgage, etc., and it got a lot of buzz at Edmund, so I thought I'd cover that for you guys. Social bios, awesome new service, leveraging the social graft, and then gift and app which is just a really cool idea for you guys. So let's get into it. That's the lineup. Number one, Inman Connect. And that's Brad Inman on the screen, you guys. I mean, just an absolute charming and engaging and just a passionate guy. Great speaker. Really was able to put things in perspective with the industry. Amazing production value. You can see in the bottom right what I put is this is a B2B must be. So a lot of agents follow us, but also a lot of tech companies follow us. If you want to be relevant and known in the industry of real estate and you're a tech company, you need to be at Enman Connect. It really is that powerful of a networking event. Now, the other option would be if you're an agent and you're looking to go to a great conference where you're just going to be ridiculously ahead of the curve, like insanely ahead of the curve then Inman Connect's another great place to be. Three of the companies uh, that I'm not going to cover in depth, but were represented, Mashable, Patch, and Scavenger. Take a look at what those sites are doing, you guys. Awesome stuff. Patch is like this cool little hyper-local blog, only in small cities. Scavenger's location, kind of like Foursquare, but they're doing stuff with real estate. And then Mashable, just a great place to get news on social media. So Inman Connect... And I uh, wanted to share a couple pictures with you guys, just so you kind of feel like you were there. Top left, that's just kind of the main stage before we got going. Uh, in the middle at the top there, we actually got to go to a really cool party with Google. Uh, so Google did a VIP party, which was a great time. And uh, the guy that worked for Google took a picture with me. Manhattan, which is the location, I mean, look at that picture. That's actually from the patio at the Google party. Just looking at the skyline, you can see some of the snow on the table. Bottom left, my man Dale Chumley and Heather Elias, uh, both on Twitter, both good people, great agents. They were there for some classes. Good to see them. In the bottom, in the middle, my man Jim Gillespie, who is the CEO of Coldwell Banker. So that was pretty cool to get to spend some time with him. And then on the bottom right, you can kind of see another one of the stages. And uh, that was a great panel discussion uh, Max Pigman, Realtor.com, Sarah from Zillow, uh, HGTV, and then also the leading real estate companies of the world. So just a great time at Edmond. Thought I'd share some of the stuff uh, that I picked up there with you guys. And the whole theme is Edmond. So Curbed.com and Real Estate Porn. And you can see I got a chance to hang out with the founder 
of Curbed. His name is Lockhart Steel. But what they're doing, you guys, it makes way too much sense for you guys not to be thinking about doing something kind of like what Curbed is doing. So let me show you what I mean by that. We're going to hop out. And we're going to hop right into the Curbed website. And I just want you guys to do two things for me here. Number one, notice how they do their write-ups. The, these are absolutely short and sweet. But where the porn part of it comes in is they're covering just these beautiful properties. So your servant can feed you grapes in this Beverly Hills bath. That is real estate porn. That is something that anybody in the country would want to watch. So if you're doing like newsletters or emails or you're trying to come up with blog posts, one thing you could learn from Curbs here, you guys, keep it short and sweet. But where this really got me thinking was, okay, I live in Tampa or, you know, Dallas. We're not in Hollywood or New York like Curbed. Who cares? People love this stuff, you guys. If you do a blog post about, uh, you know, let's say, for example, LeBron James's new mansion in Miami. I don't care where you live. People would rather read that than read market reports. And that's just the reality, guys. So start embracing kind of this real estate porn, celebrity real estate information, high-end real estate information. The goal is that people think of you when they think of real estate. So I think we can make that happen writing about national stuff. I thought that was pretty cool. The other thing you guys should do, I'll try to zoom in here for you, sign up for our newsletter. You guys should all sign up for this so that you'll get the emails from Curbed so you can kind of get really good ideas for your site. Not stealing what they're doing, but just kind of being inspired by what they're doing. So Curbed, absolutely an awesome guy, Lockhart. And uh, take away a little bit from that what you will, but real estate porn is all the rage. Uh, next, brand matters. And I got a chance to spend some time here with uh, Matthew. So if you look at the picture there from left to right, he's the third one with the glasses kind of facing us. And he's the marketing director for Corcoran, which is just this absolute amazing brand in New York City in Manhattan. And you can see at the bottom, if you can make it here, you know, you can make it anywhere kind of thing, right? So Corcoran, what they've done is they've really just embraced a few platforms like Facebook, mobile and YouTube and then a little bit of Twitter as well and they're just running with it and if you look at that picture in the middle of the airplane that is Virgin that is Virgin Airlines and when you step into an airplane like that and uh, Brian from Thousand Watt Consulting did an amazing presentation about this what did they really do differently not that much a little bit of a different lighting and a little bit of a different kind of look and feel but it makes the whole experience of riding on an airplane better and you feel like you bought the right ticket. So take a little bit away from that and I want you guys to check out what Corcoran's doing. So I'm gonna give Corcoran a great plug here. Think of them as the Virgin Airlines of the real estate industry because they're doing some great things. So make sure you guys check them out on Facebook, the Corcoran Group. They're big into mobile, you guys. They have an amazing mobile app for the Android and the iPhone. And the other thing I would do is check out their YouTube channel. So everything's facebook.com, youtube.com, slash the Corcoran group. Check them out on YouTube. See what they're doing on Twitter. What are they doing with Foursquare? Because this is a group that gets it, and they're building a beautiful brand, and they're selling a ton of real estate. So that's always a good thing to be doing as well. So that would be a, a little tidbit on brand matters. And I just think you guys should really be following and paying attention to Corcoran so that you can emulate some of that back in your local market. Stick.com, social matters. And what this site is, you guys, is basically there's all these peer review sites. So Incredible Agents, Zillow has rankings now, HAR's got reviews. Well, Stick is bought into the fact that people are going to get those recommendations on Facebook, period. They're going to get the recommendations for people that they use in the future based off the social graph and based off of Facebook. So what's really neat here, I'm going to take you guys into Stick really quickly. We'll go right into their website. One, Well, first of all, the thing that's really neat is as seen on TechCrunch, Tech Savvy Agent inside Facebook, 
So, you know, I really love that they put me right there. But here's what it is, guys. I want to find somebody that does real estate. I'm going to hit search. Now, you'll notice it's not asking me to log in. It's just connecting with my Facebook account. And now, all of a sudden, it's going through, and it's finding friends and friends of friends and everything else, and it's kind of comparing all those different connections that I have. So you see, searching your friends, searching. So what it's going to do in a second is it's going to return a list of results, and it's going to be all people that are in the real estate profession, and this is really neat just watching this because I recognize most of these people, but it's returning all these people in the real estate profession, and then it's actually going to rank them. Here's who you know the most of. Here are the people that are the most connected with you. You guys see this? So now it's showing that, man, I have 189 friends in common with Ross. Charlie, 17 friends in common. You guys see how that works? And then I can literally hit recommend or send a message right from this screen. Now the difference would be, even though we're on stick.com, every button that you hit over here is gonna kind of virally status update that and it's gonna get that out to the social networks. So if I were to hit check, it would actually post that on Facebook that I recommended that person. So stick.com, awesome service. Uh, next slide, social bios. You guys are going to love this one. So social bios, how does this work? Well, basically, somebody comes to your website. They're not a lead yet. You don't know them. You're looking to figure out who the heck they are. They can actually hit a button, and they're going to see, again, kind of like Stick, who you guys know in common. The difference with Stick is that Stick is they it, you're going to actively want people to actually recommend you. It's basically a database of reviews. Social bios, watch how this works. We'll hop onto their site really quickly, socialbios.com. And if I wanted to click on example here, it's going to pull this in. Immediately it's showing me that Ernie Graham and I have all these things in common, 20 different connections, and again, all these social buttons, everything Ernie's been tweeting. So this is all data that I'm able to get before I give any of my information away as a consumer. And wow, if I, okay, look, who is Ernie following? Well, he's following Scobalizer, and he's following Sherry Chris, Darren Persinger, Spencer, 1000 Watt Mark, Inman, Move Trends. Well, he seems to be following a lot of the people that I have respect for. So that might cause me to want to reach out to him and contact him or maybe look at his listings further. It also connects uh, offices and companies. So you can see there's several people here, Aaron, all these different employees are kind of in a tab, and then I can kind of see which one I'm the most connected with, and that one just ordered it for me. Five connections, three, two, and one. So this social stuff, you guys, social bios, and by the way, they're offering free to an individual. Most of you guys are on your own. That's free, and then if you're a company or organization that wants to try this, they're doing a 30-day free trial, socialbios.com. So another cool thing with, obviously, social is a big deal. Gift an app, and this will be the last thing this week, you guys. Gifting an app. So what does that mean? Well, I ran into somebody named Renee Fishman. So you see, thank you to Renee there. So I ran into Renee, and we talked about apps, which I'm always doing with people. And there was an app that she recommended that was kind of like Dropbox, yada, yada, yada. Not the point. But what was so impressive is that when I got up the next morning, I had an email in my iPhone that said, you've been gifted an app. And I had never gotten that before. I know a lot of you guys probably haven't yet. So what Renee did is when she went home that night, she went into the app store and she bought it for me. And it let me know that she did that. I'm telling you guys, that felt good, you guys. I loved it. So what I started thinking was, could we leverage this like as kind of a marketing or kind of like a courtship when you're looking to get a listing? Check this out. You can go into iTunes, and this can all be done on the desktop, or this could be done from your mobile. But you can go into iTunes, and you can go to the App Store, and you can search just about anything. So in this example, I'm going to search cupcakes and just hit enter. 
and it's going to pull up any app with cupcakes. So I ran into some lady at the store. We chatted it up, and just somehow something came up about cupcakes. Well, I can go back now, and I know she's got an iPhone or an Android, whatever it may be, but in this case, it's iPhone. We're talking about apps. So I can go in and say, you know what? I want to buy this, but I don't want to buy it for me. I actually want to gift this app. So gift. And you can do this in the mobile iTunes as well. And all I have to do now, you guys, is just put in her information. So it's from me. It's obviously to her, her email, etc. Send a personal message. And now when she gets that, she's going to just be able to click once and that app's going to be added to her phone. I'm sorry, but that is super hot, you guys. Please think about trying that and see what the reaction is that you get uh, from some of your clients. So gifting an app. And, uh, and that's it. I hope you guys like this format. I mean, that was a lot of stuff. Inman Connect, real estate porn, stick.com, social bios, Corcoran Group, gifting an app, just a rapid fire. Here's what's going on in real estate right now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll have another episode for you guys next week. Signing off for the queue.